glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who give constant increase to your church by new offspring, grant that your servants may hold fast to the, in their lives to the sacrament they have received in faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and proclaimed, You who are Jews, indeed all of you staying in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to my words. You who are children of Israel, hear these words. Jesus the Nazarene was a man commended to you by God with mighty deeds, wonders, and signs which God worked through him in your midst, as you yourselves know. This man, delivered up by the set plan and foreknowledge of God, you killed, using lawless men to crucify him. But God raised him up, releasing him from the throes of death, because it was impossible for him to be held by it. For David says of him, I saw the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Therefore, my heart has been glad and my tongue has ex exalted. My flesh too will dwell in hope because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your Holy One to see corruption. You have made known to me the paths of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence. My brothers, one can confidently say to you about the patriarch David that he died and was buried and his tomb is in our midst to this day. But since he was a prophet and knew that God had sworn an oath to him, that he would set one of his descendants upon his throne, he foresaw and spoke of the resurrection of the Christ, that neither was he abandoned to the netherworld, nor did his flesh see corruption. God raised this Jesus. Of this we are all witnesses. Exalted at the right hand of God, he poured forth the promise of the Holy Spirit that he received from the Father, as you both see and hear the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Keep me safe, O oh God, you are my hope. Keep me safe, O oh God, you are my hope. Keep me, O 
God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord, are you? O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. I bless the Lord who counsels me, even in the night my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me, with him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Therefore my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body too abides in confidence, because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went away quickly from the tomb, fearful yet overjoyed, and ran to announce the good news to his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them on their way and greeted them. They approached, embraced his feet, and did him homage. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. While they were going, some of the guard went into the city and told the chief priests all that had happened. The chief priests assembled with the elders and took counsel. Then they gave a large sum of money to the soldiers, telling them, you are to say his disciples came by night and stole him while we were asleep. And if this gets to the ears of the governor, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. The soldiers took the money and did as they were instructed. And this story has circulated among the Jews to the present day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia, Christ is risen from the dead. Amen. Praise the Lord. He is risen indeed. Amen. The Lord Jesus always wants to come to us. He always wants to be in our midst. He loves us so much. The Father loves us so much too in sending us Jesus. Even though we are celebrating the, the Easter season, that fact that the Father loves us so much, that He sent His only Son to die for us, and yet that death on the cross 
could not hold him bound, could not hold him to our humanity, but raise us up to a new level, to a divinity, to godliness ourselves. We see this very clearly with what happened to Peter within this first reading. We see that before this first reading, well, during we see Peter denying Jesus himself. We see Peter very being very cowardly and saying, well, beforehand at the Last Supper, he's saying, yeah, I'll be with you, Jesus. I will stand up for you. But then the Lord Jesus is like, before the cock crows, Peter, by the way, you're going to deny me three times. And Peter's like, ah, I will not deny you, Lord. But then yet we see the sadness that happens. We see the fact that Peter does deny Jesus. Yet Jesus was not done with Peter yet at that point. Peter saw the, the spirit, the ability that Peter had, the goodness of Peter, and he did not abandon Peter at that time. But instead, we see Peter, after being given the, the Holy Spirit on Pentecost, we see Peter being transformed to being a very courageous man, getting outside of, of himself and, and proclaiming this good news that God raised him. He says, this man you killed, using lawless men to cru crucify him. But God raised him up, releasing him from the throes of death because it was impossible for him to be held by it. Peter was transformed. He was not that cowardly Peter anymore. Jesus did not abandon him. He does not abandon us in our times of death either. He does not abandon us in our times of difficulty. He does not abandon us, abandon us in our times of trouble. Look for him. Look to see where he is at in our lives. He is there. He is there. The risen Christ is there in our midst. We just need to see him. Let us ask our Lord for these, that we may see this risen Christ in our midst, that he has not abandoned us, even in the midst of our own difficulties and troubles, that he is with us, and that he wants to even transform us in the midst of these times. For he loves us so much, he wants to be in, in every part of our lives, even now. But now let's stand and offer our prayers to our loving Father. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, Archbishop Hebda, and for all the leaders of the Church, and all of us in the Church, that we may see our Lord Jesus working in our daily lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our, all of us, we pray for all of our political leaders. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
we pray for, in thanksgiving for the risen Christ in having conquering sin and death in our lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We thank God also for the gift of family during this time of trouble and difficulty, during this Easter season especially. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are sick and suffering, especially those who are suffering from the coronavirus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, consecrated life, and holy sacramental marriages. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that we, like Peter, may allow our Lord to transform us to receive more of the glorified Christ in our midst. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of, of the intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have died. We pray especially for Sophie Go Gabe, for whom this Mass is offered, that they may see the risen Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you are so good to us. Please hear and answer our prayers. For we make them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept graciously, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that renewed by the confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world, by dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, 
Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of, the, of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, to, together with Francis, our Pope, and burned our Archbishop, Andrew, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who Lord art in Lord, heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth, earth as, as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to possess you within my soul. Since I am unable at this moment to receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Christ, having risen from the dead, dies no more, alleluia. 
Death shall no longer have dominion over him. Alleluia, alleluia. Let us pray. May the grace of this Paschal Sacrament abound in our minds, O we pray, O Lord, and make those you have set on the way to of eternal salvation worthy of your gifts, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Have a wonderful Easter blessed day. Thank you, Father. St. Michael, the archangel, the archangel defend, defend us in battle. battle. Be our, our safeguard, safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. devil. May God, God rebuke him, we humbly pray. pray. And do thou, Prince, Prince of the, the heavenly host, host, by the power of God, God cast, cast into hell Satan, Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, the seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. St. Joseph, pray, pray for us. us. 